Welcome to my school, the Musica Mundi School. Please follow me. The mission of Musica Mundi School is to develop the musical and the human potential of young musicians from all over the world, regardless of their financial background. This we do by exposing them to different cultures and to different educational methods and naturally by providing them with internationally renowned Cambridge qualifications. And in this way, they will achieve their fullest potential as musicians and as the citizens of the world.
Bonsoir et bienvenue, cher Monsieur le Gouverneur, chers ambassadeurs, chers échevins, chers membres de la famille Musica Mundi, chers amis, chers publics, à cet événement spécial. Goedenavond en welkom. Graag de Heer Gouverneur, graag de ambassadeurs, graag de schepenen, graag de leden van de Musica Mundi familie, beste vrienden, graag het publiek op dit bijzondere evenement. Good evening, dear governor, dear ambassadors, dear échevins, dear Musica Mundi family, dear friends, dear public, and welcome to this special event. Let me present myself. I am Sophie, and this is Benjamin. We are both students of the Musica Mundi school. Benjamin is 15, and I am 13. Perhaps you're wondering, what made us choose this school? Why? We left our homes, our families, and our friends, and moved to another country, to a new and unknown environment to us. The most simple answer to this question is that it provided us with what we were both looking for, a way to balance our academic education and the high-level professional musical education that we both really wanted. In addition, it gave us the opportunity to spend our time studying and working with other like-minded students. Having a really good education and developing simultaneously as a professional musician is not easy. Our education is so important to us because we want to know so much about the world, about math, science, history, to speak languages and so on and to develop the intellectual and social skills that will enable us to function successfully within the world. But we also want to know everything about music. Music, which lays so deep in our hearts. Music, which we love so much. And there is so much to learn. Which is why, for both of us, it was so amazing to find a place where we have the opportunity to realize our dream and become professional musicians. A place where our music teachers and academic teachers work together to help us successfully rise to all the challenges we encounter. And it is a place with so many opportunities to perform. To compose music. To play chamber music. To sing in a choir. To conduct. To have fun with friends who share the same passion as we do. We hope it is obvious by now how happy we are to be part of the Musica Mundi School. This evening, we are sharing the stage with alumni of the Musica Mundi Festival. We are proud to follow in their footsteps. And we are also so proud to share this prestigious Bozart stage with great artists like Misha Maisky and Esther Yu. In a few years' time, we will be graduates of our school will become alumni ourselves, and we hope to be able to continue the legacy of music making, which we have learned from these artists and alumni, and inspire future generations of musicians and audiences in our turn. Chers mesdames et messieurs, nous vous souhaitons une très agréable soirée. En hopen dat u deze zaal vanavond na het concert met evenveel enthousiasme zal verlaten als wij hadden om het voor te bereiden. And now, please permit us to call to the stage the founders of our institution, Leonid and Hagit Kerbel. Good evening. Good evening. More than 2,000 years ago, Confucius, the Chinese great philosopher, said, music produces a kind of pleasure which human nature cannot do without. 25 years have passed since the creation of Musica Mundi and five years since the creation of the Musica Mundi School. During these 25 wonderful years, more than 1,000 
500 talents, dozens of artists and pedagogues, and numerous and beloved members of the Musica Mundi family could experience this pleasure described so rightfully by the inspiring personality of this great philosopher. Top quality musical education combined together with encouragement, stimulation, and their development as artists and human beings. These are our guidelines. This is our philosophy. This is what we strive for and what we wish to offer our young musicians. Tonight's aim was to present to you, dear public, the Musica Mundi adventure in all its facets. Great artists, artists in residence, alumni of the festival who have started international careers, alumni and students of the Musica Mundi School, all will come up on stage tonight, make music together and celebrate this festive moment. You have enjoyed, at the beginning of this event, the collaboration between two choirs, the Bivocal, the National Choir of Young Belgian Singers, and the Musica Mundi School Choir, both under Benoit Gio, their choir master, and with pianist Alexander Mogilevsky, with us since the creation of our school and Musica Mundi School's official accompanist. They have performed for you the song one Voice of John Rutter, and indeed, our students, in spite of their cultural, religious, and social diversities, all are united in one voice, that of music. Before calling our first soloist to the stage, we would like to take this opportunity in thanking the whole Musica Mundi family. Our sponsors, Martin's Hotels and Mr. John Martin, the National Lottery, La Province du Brabant Wallon, the Commune of Waterloo, Dalen Private Bank, Imgo and Fay Foundations, Robus Foundation, GBL, Chemitex, Axis Park Fund, ICC, Alpha Dean Foundation, Fond Jean Pratt, Eastbridge, Goldwasser Foundation, CST Avocat, LVMH, Nikedo Foundation, Fondation de Bienfaisance, Nixoa, Reinvest, Pianos Mane, EJC, Fondation Henri Servet, Fondation Yves van der Kreuz, Im of Trust, Anad Foundation, ESPAD, Rotary Bruxelles Atomium, Spark Rido Service, Partners, Private Patrons, Media Partners, Many of you in the hall tonight have been by our side since our very first year. Musica Mundi is what it is today, thanks to you all. Thank you. Special gratitude goes tonight to Dalen Private Bank, who collaborated in the organization of this concert, to La Loterie Nationale, who supported this event, and to Max Zimmerman and Tevecom, the TV channel of Brabant Wallon, who is in the hall this evening to film the concert and transmit it in live streaming. We would also like to thank the artists and alumni who, in spite of their very tight schedules, are here this evening and will share their music with us. This special anniversary year, 25th anniversary of our Kursen Festival and 5th anniversary to the creation of the Musica Mundi School, is placed under the high patronage of Her Majesty, Queen Mathilde. The Queen has been by our side since the creation of the course and the festival visited us several years ago and supported us ever since. And now, we have the pleasure of calling to the stage our two first performers, not before asking you, dear public, to please switch off your mobile phones.
Nikita Shastaku was among the students who joined our school since its creation and participated as well several times in our course and festival. This Belarusian pianist is now accepted to the prestigious Mozart M School of Salzburg under Professor Jacques Rouvier, who is also the piano professor of the Musica Mundi School. Steven Kleven is an 18 year of age Belgian pianist who joined our school in 2019. Steven is among our graduate students this year and was accepted already to several major conservatories, including the New England Conservatory of Boston. Nikita and Stephen will perform the lively Tarantella from Rachmaninoff's suite for two pianos. Warm applause to these two pianists.
Turkish young talents, students at Musica Mundi School who participated several times in the Korsan Festival are going to take the stage next. Violinist Bade is 16. She joined our school at only 11 years of age, while Tariq, the pianist, is 17 and joined our school in 2020. Both Bade and Tariq are engaged during the year in numerous performances, also outside of school, and Bade last year performed a full-length recital together with a great Turkish pianist, good friend and supporter of our school, Fazil Sey. Bade and Tariq will perform the first movement of the famous Kreutzer Sonata by Ludwig van Beethoven. Let us welcome them.
student of our cello guru, Vladimir Perlin, Alexei Kiselyov first joined Musica Mundi as a student, then as a young faculty member. Today, Alexei is leader of cello section in important orchestras such as the Royal National Scottish Orchestra and the Swedish Radio Symphony Orchestra. Claire Opère, winner of the Prix Littéraire des Musiciens in, Fra in France, joined the Musica Mundi School's cello pedagogue several years ago and have become the regular professor of this class. Mikhail Radunsky, as well, student of the cello guru from Belarus, Vladimir Perlin, started his way with us as a young boy of 10. Mikhail came numerous times to the festival as a student, became a young faculty member, and since last year, a regular faculty member. Thais de Fort was a festival student and a founding student of the Musica Mundi School. This 20-year-old alumni who celebrated her 20th anniversary yesterday is now studying in the prestigious Saarbrücken Musikhochschule. Thais was also chosen to represent Belgium in the Eurovision contest for young classical musicians in 2022. These four cellists will perform for us tonight the Concert Walzer Opus 31 of Fitzenhagen. Warm applause.
good friends, all pianists, and all students of the Musica Mundi School will come up on stage next. Stephen and Tariq performed earlier tonight. They will be joined by Maximilian, our 18 years of age Belgian-Italian pianist who joined our school since the beginning in 2018 and is today one of our graduating students this year, accepted to the prestigious Royal College of London next year, and Timothée, 18-year-old French pianist who joined the school in 2020 and who also is graduating this year and accepted to several institutions, amongst them the Mozarteum of Salzburg. These four friends will perform for you this evening the Gallop March of Lavignac for one piano but with eight hands. Warm applause to these four pianists.
I have the pleasure to call to the stage Mr. Olivier Alsteins, COO of the National Lottery, who has been by our side and supported our course and festival and our school for numerous years. Warm applause, ladies and gentlemen, to Olivier Alsteins. Don't worry, I won't touch that harp. The National Lottery loves birdies. Our six million players, they love birdies. So, happy birthday to the Musica Mundi, to Musica Mundi School. These birthdays are also the birthday of a strong and long-lasting partnership between the National Lottery and Musica Mundi. We are very proud of this partnership. This year, we also celebrate a birthday, 45 years lotto. And next year, this strong, reliable, sustainable lady, the National Lottery, will turn 90. We'll have the opportunity to celebrate that together. If we love birthdays, we also love excellence. Excellence is what we live tonight, what we hear, what we see. It's marvelous. This excellence makes us part of our partnership. Excellence make, makes also the difference between a lottery and other actors of the gaming industry. Excellence makes it possible to return all profits to the community. We support social programs, you know that, sport projects, diversity, and like today, culture at its best. So let's grow together. Let's strengthen our ties. And tonight, let's enjoy the music. Happy birthday again. Christina has been with us since the age of 10. First as participant of the course and festival and private student of Leonid Kerbel, and then as a regular student of the Musica Mundi School. After three years in the school, Christina was accepted to several important conservatories in the world and chose to continue her bachelor degree in the Barenboim Academy of Berlin. During her years with us, Christina enjoyed regularly the guidance of artists such as Ivry Gitlis and Maxim Vengerov. Sivan Magen, this world-renowned harpist, joined our team three years ago. Ever since, he has been teaching and inspiring the harp class of the Musica Mundi School, which resulted in two of our students being accepted thanks to him to the prestigious Juilliard School in New York. Sivan also participates in our festival and performs either in the Bach Concert Hall of the school or in the Chateau du Lac of Genval. Christina and Sivan will perform tonight the fantasy of composer Camille Saint-Saëns. Let us welcome them.
Misha Maisky, one of the world's greatest cellists, believed in the Musica Mundi idea even before its creation and performed in the very first edition of the festival 25 years ago. Ever since then, Misha participated in dozens of concerts during the festival in the Chateau du Lac of Genval, or in the Musica Mundi School, or here in Palais des Beaux-Arts, gave master classes, told many jokes, and simply was and is an integral part of the family. Tonight, Misha Maisky will be joined by his daughter, Lily, pianist, as well a regular visitor of our festival. Together, they will perform the first movement of Rachmaninov's cello sonata. I have the immense honor of calling to the stage Misha and Lili Maisky.
quatuor invité à se produire dans de grandes villes telles que Bruxelles, Copenhague, Paris, Amsterdam, Munich, Francfort, New York ainsi que dans tous les grands festivals européens. S'ils ont fait aujourd'hui escale à Waterloo, c'est bien sûr pour rencontrer leur public mais aussi et surtout pour rencontrer les jeunes élèves qui participent du 1er au 15 août au festival et stages Musica Mundi. Ce stage international de musique de chambre ouvert aux violonistes, altistes, violoncellistes et pianistes du monde entier permet à 34 jeunes âgés de 10 à 18 ans de parfaire la connaissance et la maîtrise de leur art selon une formule originale. Originale, car en dehors des leçons et des exercices privés, les élèves assistent deux fois par semaine aux répétitions d'artistes confirmés. C'est le cas du Quatuor Keller qui analyse, commente sa manière de travailler. C'est important quand même pour des élèves de pouvoir voir des artistes confirmés. Euh, Qu'est-ce que ça t'apporte à toi bah, je, Ça, ça m'encourage et euh, j'essaye de, de retenir un peu la technique, la musicalité et tout comment ils font pour arriver un peu à ça. Ils t'ont impressionné Oui quand même Qu'est-ce qui, euh, si jeune, t'a fait apprécier la musique de chambre euh, En fait, j'ai commencé avec, en jouant la musique solo et ensuite je me suis dit en écoutant la musique de chambre que j'adore ça également. Alors je me suis dit que ce stage était une occasion parfaite pour pouvoir perfectionner la musique de chambre. Qu'est-ce que tu apprends ici de particulier Comment est-ce que ça se déroule ce stage eh ben, On apprend plusieurs, de mo plusieurs morceaux différents, de styles différents. On a des, des, des cours avec les profs, on a des cours sans, sans les profs. Alors avec, avec les profs, évidemment, c'est plus facile parce qu'ils nous disent quand on fait les fautes. Et bon, quand c'est seul, alors c'est plus compliqué, il y a des petits conflits. Et... Mais en général, ça va plutôt très bien, je crois. Léo Scrébert pratique le violon depuis 9 ans, Hélène Courvert de l'alto depuis 6-7 ans. Ce stage est pour eux une aubaine, car l'enseignement du moins de haut niveau de la musique de chambre fait défaut en Belgique. C'est ce qui a motivé la pianiste Agita Sitt et son époux, le violoniste Léonid Kerbel, à fonder le stage et festival de musique de chambre Musica Mundi. Il y a beaucoup de devoirs à l'école, il y a beaucoup d'examens, et il ne peut pas consacrer assez de temps à musique. Et alors là, on a trouvé un trou dans, dans l'éducation qu'on qu peut compléter. Autrement, est-ce qu'il y a moyen, dans une académie par exemple, de pouvoir se perfectionner ou pas euh, Oui, ça se perfectionnait à l'académie, mais, mais pas au niveau international. Et on voulait en fait monter le niveau de musique de chambre ici au Belgique. Alors, vous avez beaucoup d'élèves qui viennent des quatre coins du monde. Est-ce que pour vous, on peut déjà dire que ce premier festival est un succès Oui, carrément. On a des élèves d'Israël, Japon, France, Allemagne et bien sûr Belgique. Au cours de ce festival, des artistes de haut niveau se produisent en concert à 20h au Château d'Argenteuil. Deux rendez-vous vous sont fixés le 12 août avec le prestigieux trio allemand Fontenay et le 14 août. Daria Orova au piano sera accompagnée du violoncelliste le plus célèbre Miska Meski. Enfin, signalons que le public peut assister aux répétitions des jeunes stagiaires. Des stagiaires qui pourront poursuivre l'an prochain une nouvelle formation internationale de 15 jours. Son coût, 40 000 francs. Les réservations débuteront dès le mois d'octobre. Renseignements au 02 652 01 01. C'est ici à l'hôtel Le Lido de Rixansar que sont hébergés les 66 élèves de Musica Mundi version 2008, un festival de musique de chambre qui fête ses 10 ans. Musica Mundi s'est créé il y a 10 ans avec une idée en tête, c'est de pouvoir mettre, réunir des jeunes talents du monde entier et de les grouper dans des ensembles de musique de chambre pour créer des relations, pour créer leur évolution, pour leur faire évoluer dans le domaine auquel ils préfèrent au monde, la musique. Depuis dix ans, les responsables de Musica Mundi en ont vu passer des jeunes prodiges. Cette année, ils sont 66 élèves de 27 pays différents à suivre les cours dispensés par les 13 membres du corps professoral et notamment par le pianiste autrichien Paul Badura Skoda. Je trouve ça c'est une occasion fantastique, fabuleuse, de rencontrer la jeunesse du monde entier et communiquer 
l'expérience de toute ma vie en musique, soit comme exécutant, soit comme compositeur et surtout comme musicien de chambre. L'idée de faire musique de chambre entre des gens qui ne se connaissent pas ou qui ne se connaissaient pas avant, ça forme les amitiés et des contacts pour toute la vie. Et non seulement entre les jeunes, mais parfois entre un jeune et moi qui peut-être plus tard devient mon, mon élève. C'est vraiment un festival formidable avec de grands solistes du monde entier. Ici, il y a des professeurs que tu n'as pas toujours l'occasion de rencontrer dans d'autres festivals. C'est magnifique d'apprendre la musique avec eux. Tous ceux qui sont ici sont vraiment de bons musiciens. Ce n'est pas comme des études normales, c'est vraiment d'un niveau très élevé ici. Some, some high level students here. Uh, je pense que c'est une expérience vraiment formidable de, de, de pouvoir uh, jouer la musique avec des musiciens de tout le monde. C'est vraiment formidable parce que je pense qu'il n'y a pas uh, beaucoup d'événements comme Musique en Monde. Mathieu et Jonathan font partie des 19 Belges inscrits au stage. Sur 66 participants, 52 élèves reçoivent une bourse, preuve que ce festival n'est pas réservé qu'à l'élite. C'est réservé à de vrais musiciens, n'importe leur niveau social ou niveau économique. Si un jeune vient chez nous et il ne peut pas se permettre ce stage, il vient d'un pays comme l'Afrique du Sud, où il vient de banlieue de Bangkok, où il vient de la Chine, où il vient de Biélorussie, et on voit que c'est un talent dans, dans son corps, dans son âme, et on sait qu'il ne sait rien payer, il ne sait même pas payer son voyage. Jamais il va recevoir une réponse négative. Des journées bien remplies pour tous ces jeunes virtuoses âgés de 9 à 20 ans. L'occasion pour eux de côtoyer des artistes reconnus dans leur discipline. Ce mercredi après-midi, par exemple, c'était le grand violoncelliste Micha Maïski qui se produisait en répétition publique au château de la Hulpe. S'inspirer de musiciens internationaux pour progresser, c'est aussi ça, Musica Mundi. Pour les 10 ans, un concert exceptionnel aura lieu le 26 juillet. La première partie va présenter nos alumni, nos aînés, des élèves que dans le temps avaient peut-être en 99, 10 ans, 11 ans, 12 ans, que maintenant ont peut-être 20 ans, 21 ans et qui ont commencé, ont débuté une carrière internationale. Alors on va le voir, on va le voir aussi avec des jeunes élèves du stage. La deuxième partie va, va montrer un peu notre corps professoral. Et dans cette partie, il y aura deux moments très forts. Sur un, je veux quand même parler, c'est la création. C'est une première mondiale d'un œuvre qui a été commandée par nous, un œuvre intitulée Musica Mundi, et qui va jouer, être jouée pour la première fois le, ce 26 juillet. En dix ans, Musica Mundi a bien évolué. D'autres projets pourraient voir le jour. Je crois que de nouveau, l'idée va rester peut-être la même. On va peut-être élargir les instruments, on va peut-être ajouter des instruments avant, on va peut-être élargir, peut-être ajouter des chants un peu. On ne sait pas encore, on n'a pas vraiment pris le, ni le temps ni l'énergie tellement de, de, de se concentrer sur ce sujet. On pense à faire le dixième anniversaire, à le passer comme il faut et puis penser à la suite. Musica Mundi en est à sa 13e édition, ce festival international de musique de chambre qui a débuté ce 18 juillet accueillait des hôtes de marque ce mardi. La princesse Mathilde accompagnée de sa fille aînée, la princesse Elisabeth, ont rendu une petite visite aux 65 jeunes musiciens de 34 pays différents de cette édition 2011. De quoi apprécier quelques instants la musique de Shostakovich sous la direction du violoniste Maxime Wengerov. La princesse euh, suit Musica Mundi depuis sa création. Alors euh, elle, elle offre son haut patronage à Musica Mundi euh, au stage et au festival. Des élèves ont été déjà au palais pour jouer devant la princesse. Alors ce n'est pas la première rencontre avec la princesse. C'est une personnalité extraordinaire qui s'intéresse sincèrement dans, dans, dans ces jeunes, dans la musique, dans l'enseignement, euh, dans l'épanouissement de ces jeunes. Et la petite princesse, pour la petite princesse Elisabeth, c'était une découverte. Et je crois qu'elle a bien aimé. 
Et la visite s'est poursuivie dans les installations du Lido de Geneval qui accueille chaque année Musica Mundi. Les princesses ont assisté au travail d'un ensemble à huit mains avec Ita Margolan. On lui a montré d'un côté le côté orchestral, c'est comme ça elle a commencé avec le côté orchestre. Et puis on est passé au côté musique de chambre. Mais là aussi on lui a montré d'un côté à huit mains de, de pianiste. Puis après, on lui a montré un quintet de clarinettes avec cinq clarinettistes. Puis après, on lui a montré un trio, un trio traditionnel, piano, violon, violoncelle. De quoi montrer à la princesse Mathilde et à sa fille la panoplie complète de ce qui fait Musica Mundi. La princesse Elisabeth a apprécié, elle qui, à 10 ans, est à peine plus jeune que ses musiciens. Et pour Antonia au piano, cette visite royale a aussi été appréciée. C'était très chouette, c'était un honneur. Oui, oui j'aime aussi avec, euh, avec qu'elle a bien écouté et c'était très très chouette et aussi une grande honneur. La princesse Mathilde et sa fille sont repartis avec peut-être dans la tête de la jeune Elisabeth l'envie de vivre une expérience comme Musica Mundi, un stage festival qui vient à peine de débuter, mais dans tous les coins et pièces de l'hôtel, on trouve des jeunes qui travaillent et qui jouissent de la présence d'artistes en résidence comme Ivry et Gitlis. Transmettre, ce n'est pas transmettre, c'est la vivre ensemble. Vous savez, on ne transmet pas, on vit une chose ensemble. Voilà. Je ne pense pas, je n'ai pas la prétention de donner à eux ce qu'ils ne peuvent pas avoir. Ils peuvent avoir, c'est pour ça que je peux peut-être partager, et moi aussi. Et moi, j'apprends constamment avec eux. C'est des futurs grands musiciens Ce pas des futurs grands musiciens, ce sont des grands musiciens qui grandissent. Et n'importe musicien, n'importe artiste qui a quelque chose dans son âme, eh bien, il a la place pour grandir. Et grandir, ce n'est pas grandir dans la quantité, c'est s'épancher plus, c'est tout. On veut élargir leurs esprits à ces stagiaires. C'est pour ça que le festival a été créé. D'un côté, de leur faire connaître le plus grand artiste pour pouvoir leur stimuler, mais aussi élargir leurs esprits et leur montrer que la musique, le monde de la musique, Musica Mundi, est très large. Musica Mundi se déroule jusqu'au 31 juillet et pour tous ces jeunes, une ouverture sur la musique et sur le monde. Amine a 19 ans, il habite au Havre, il participera en juillet à sa septième édition de Musica Mundi. Aujourd'hui, Amine répète avec son professeur Leonid Kerbel les morceaux qu'il aura interprétés lors du stage, un travail en amont bien nécessaire. Comme c'est un stage de musique de chambre, c'est-à-dire que chacun des stagiaires acceptés au stage reçoit ses partitions deux mois avant le stage, dont à son adresse, à son pays d'origine. Cette année, ils vont venir de 34 pays, ces jeunes stagiaires. Alors les partitions sont envoyées à 34 pays pour que chacun va préparer ses ensembles avant de venir. Parce que ce qui est important, c'est que quand ils arrivent, chacun va connaître son rôle dans l'ensemble. Pour que s'il y a un trio et que chacun des membres de ces trios a reçu ses partitions, le pianiste, le violoniste, le violoncelliste, ce qu'il reste à faire ici, qui est déjà pas mal, c'est de mettre ce morceau ensemble. Quand chacun de ces jeunes arrivera, il devra déjà montrer preuve de, de flexibilité et de l'écoute vers son, ses camarades pour que cet ensemble va sonner. Et c'est cela aussi, Musica Mundi, développer les valeurs de partage et de respect de l'autre. Pour Amine, chaque expérience vécue avec Musica Mundi lui a permis de progresser. Avec le stage, parce que voilà, c'est un enrichissement. Un enrichissement pour la musique, mais aussi un enrichissement personnel et social. C'est-à-dire, quand vous voyez des gens qui viennent de Chine... qui
Ladies and gentlemen, it will be our pleasure to continue this evening. Since the creation of Musica Mundi course and festival, Kagit and I believed that we should go further, nourish and develop even more, and on a long-term manner, our young talents. Talents that have to face daily the impossible task of combining their two worlds, that of being a scholar and that of being an artist, a musician. This dream of creating a premiere in all of this part of Europe was made a reality thanks to the Archdiocese of Mechelen, Brussels. Thanks to the Archdiocese, our school was created five years ago in a beautiful venue, a venue that was erected in the 1920s following the initiative of King Albert I, the monastery of Fishermont, situated on the Waterloo battlefield. In the same monastery lived a famous nun, Janine Deckers, or in her stage name, Sœur Sourire, whose song, Dominique, made worldwide success. In memory of Sir Sourire, and as a token of gratitude to the Archidiocese for enabling us to realize our dream, please welcome to the stage the Musica Mundi School Choir and their choir master, Benoit Gillot, with Dominique. But please, do not applaud when they enter. The Musica Mundi School and the Musica Mundi Festival 
welcomes very young musicians, sometimes under 10 years of age. Guillaume started his way with the Musica Mundi School when he was nine as a member of the preparatory platform of the school. And end of, as of this academic year, at the age of 12, integrated the school as a regular student, together with Song Yong Lim, wonderful Korean pianist, student, and then young faculty of the festival, they will perform for you, dear public, from Jeu d'Enfant of Georges Bizet, the Petit Marie, Petite Femme. Let us welcome Guillaume et Song Yong to the stage.
have the pleasure to call to the stage Mr. Hermann de Vleeshauer, the director of the Musica Mundi School. Hermann believed in the Musica Mundi ideology since the very beginning and did all in his power to help us throughout the years. Hermann, please join me on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you a short story of a long time collaboration. 25 years ago, I was director of a music school near Antwerp and president of the association of Flemish music school directors called Verdi. One day, I received a telephone call. The man at the other side of the line talked in English and proposed, me, proposed to me his idea of developing the quality of music education and for that goal, creating the Musica Mundi International Course and Festival. This man was no one less than Leonid Kerbel, whom I did not know before. The subject happened to be my domain of interest as well. So I was keen to meet him and to know more details. As a consequence of this meeting, I became more enthusiastic and succeeded to convince the first Flemish students to participate in the course and festival. And many years, many followed, many participations, many students followed the years after, as Musica Mundi became renowned more and more worldwide, and so also in Flanders. Over the years that followed, I also became involved in the logical next step, the creation of the Musica Mundi School. I'm glad to have been able to humbly assist in several ways, including initiating the first contacts with the Archdiocese Mechelen Brussels concerning our building. Eventually, I was asked to become the head teacher of the Mus Musica Mundi School even several years before its creation, even before there was an infrastructure. Needless to say that I was honored by this request. So I gladly accepted this proof of trust, which has led to an immensely fruitful collaboration with many extremely engaged people for all aspects of the school, too many to name. And of course, with very talented and super committed students. This, in turn, has led to success in achieving our high pedagogical artistic goals, which we set for ourselves since the opening of the school five years ago, and that the musical side resulted in countless amazing performances. It is a magnificent, magnificent journey. Thank you. A wonderful collaboration between guest artists, artists in residence, faculty members, young faculty members and students will be reflected in the exciting piece you will hear next. The Scherzo from Shostakovich String Octet Opus 11 will be performed by the Korean-American-Belgian violinist Esther Yu, who started her adventure with us when she was merely eight years old. Solomon Markman, Israeli violinist, student of the course for numerous years and now a young faculty member. Emile Dams, Belgian violinist, alumni of the course and nowadays faculty member of the course and of the school. Nazar Pliska, Polish-Ukrainian violinist, founding student of the school. Nathan Braude, viola professor in the Royal College of London and in the Musica Mundi School since this academic year. Alexandra Ivanova, 
Belarusian violist, alumni and faculty member of the course and festival who is with us for numerous years. Liav Kerbel, Israeli-Belgian cellist, student of the course since his very early childhood, as a child of nine, participating in practically each and every Musica Mundi edition since then, becoming young faculty member and now faculty member of the course and of the school, and last but not least, Mikhail Radunsky, whom we already heard tonight in the cello ensemble. In the photo on the screen now, you can see both Liav and Mikhail on the right side of the photo when only children. Quite a few years passed since then. I'm glad to call to the stage these eight fine musicians.
Bivocal, the Belgium National Youth Choir, is about to take the stage next. Together with our artist in residence, whom you already heard tonight, Sivan Magen, and under the baton of Yuri Klomp, the choir master, they will perform for you the earthly rose of Eisenwald. Let us all welcome them.
The Musica Mundi School's String Quartet is about to take the stage next. This string quartet is composed from four students who will finish their education with us this academic year and continue their musical professional life in some of the best institutions in the world. First violinist, Polish-Ukrainian Nazar Pliska is student of the course for numerous years and the founding student of the school. Belgian violinist Antigon Hurt, student of the course who joined the school in 2019, as did Norea Quirinen, our Dutch viola player, and Emma Nagele, this Dutch cellist, who joined the school in 2020. Nazar, Antigon, and Norea were accepted with important scholarships to the prestigious Royal College of London, while Emma was accepted to the important Amsterdam Conservatory and the Salzburg Mozarteum. The quartet will perform tonight the first movement of Claude Debussy's String Quartet. Let us welcome the Musica Mundi School's String Quartet.
A young violinist of 14 is about to, about to come on stage next. German violinist Raphael Gisbertz has been a student of the Musica Mundi Corson Festival in the past five years. Together with our young faculty, Song Jung Lim, who performed earlier tonight, they will play for you, dear public, the Mazurka de Salon of composer Eugène Isaïe. Raphael and Song Jung, please.
Recently, the Musica Mundi family lost two great artists and unique personalities, Ivry Gitlis and Menachem Pressler, who were integral part of the Musica Mundi family in the past 20 years. Their art, their wisdom, their stories, and their jokes will remain with us forever. Misha Maisky and his son, Maximilian, graduating student at the Musica Mundi School, will play for you and in memory of these great artists, the Song of the Birds, composed by Pablo Casals, followed by Manuel de Falla's Ritual Fire Dance. But before, we will share the stage and the memories once more with our dear Ivry, and Menachem. There was a very great singer called Marian Anderson. She was uh, very one of the greatest singers. And she was the first great black American singer of classical music. She and Paul Robson and so forth. And we had once lunch together. And she told me one or two things which I remember very much. She said to me, you know, Ivory, it's sometimes this very fraction of a second before you start, which is the most important in some way. You know, you don't go to the bar and you play, but you come to the bar and maybe, and then you play, you know. This <coughs> fraction of a second is there practically in front of every note we play. And this feeling of time between each note <coughs> is that time which it takes for that note to be born, to live and to die. You know, perhaps we should, from time to time, just take a minute or a second to think about this. This, what is life? We are living in a time where the mechanism of things is very prominent. People expecting people to play uh, uh, correctly and there is no correctness in beauty. And beauty is not something that is always beautiful. To have the instrument as a friend, as a companion, as an enemy even, that you tame, as a something which is a puzzle, which you are trying to understand, and that you don't have to understand everything. In fact, don't understand everything. Allow there to be always a margin that you don't understand, that you don't have to understand. It is the music, in a way, that takes you further.
Esther started her way with us as a very small child of eight. She performed numerous times in the Musica Mundi Chorus and Festival, as well as in many private events. This Korean-American Belgian violinist was a student of Leonid Kerbel for many years, was accepted to the Chapelle Musicale Reine Elisabeth, and won the fourth prize in the Queen Elizabeth competition in 2012. She is now one of the world's raising stars performing all over the world with prestigious conductors and orchestras. Esther will perform this evening the variations on Yankee Doodle by composer Henri Vuitton. I have the honor of calling Esther to the stage.
We reached the end of this festive concert, dear public. And before calling on stage the Musica Mundi School Orchestra, I would like to thank all those who helped in the preparation of tonight's celebration. Our senior management team, our teachers and artists, our devoted staff members, the Tevecom team, the technicians, and the entire Musica Mundi family. And now, I have the pleasure of welcoming the Musica Mundi Orchestra, joined by the artists and alumni you heard tonight under the baton of Leonid Kerbel, our co-founder and artistic director, to perform for you the first movement of Mozart, Eine kleine Nachtmusik, followed by a surprising arrangement made by Belgian composer Michel Leiseit of Happy Birthday. And what is left for me to do is to wish you all the best and hope to see you in our coming events. Good night.
Thank you. 